Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting, October 10th, 2019. We're on our way to the end of the year. It's getting exciting. The weather's changing here, which means soon the rain will come and it will just all be about inside coding. Ha, ha, ha. Who am I kidding? That's all I'm doing anyway. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. We are having some technical difficulties left over from last week that Bob and Sean's audio is not being projected to the stream and thus not into the recording. So uh, I'm going to be talking to myself and we're going to try to see how well the chat feature works uh, where I respond audially and everybody else tries the written word. Uh, let's go ahead and get into what we're covering today. Uh, I'd say it's not going to be a big meeting because we're just doing triage, except that we have a number of things that have come in through triage. And if we're doing everything in triage via text or me repeating what I can hear Bob and Sean say in my head, um, then uh, I, we'll see how well this goes. So we're going to hurry up and get to that. Did I already say these meetings are being recorded? They're being recorded if you're not here with us right now. Uh, without further ado, we're going to do triage. I'd say, Bob, you ready? But he's not going to respond to me. So I'm just going to jump to the triage page. Uh, as always, we're skipping this first one. I want to come back to it, just not to spend the time on it. Um, exit dialog has unexpected behavior. Uh, this really threw me when I first saw it. Wix 2.0. I was like, really? Uh, that was a long time ago. But OK. Uh, then it turns out this person made a bug fix in 2.0, or at least a change about handling the X button differently than we're handling it now. Um, so if this seems real, then I'm fine for us to go ahead and put it in Wix 4 and see if we can fix it there. Um, Bob, did this seem real to you, that this was like a real thing that could happen? I'm not an expert on UI, and I leave Bob to be the expert on UI. Um, and he's not going to answer you, but he might answer me. And then he goes, it seems reasonable. All right, cool. I say we toss it in 4X and see if anybody wants to go ahead and grapple with it. If, Bob, you're interested in tackling a UI issue, you're welcome to toss it in 4.0 straight up. Shouldn't that be dead? The what should what be dead? The X button? The UI? The exit dialog? I don't know what that is, Jacob. The bug in 2.0? Oh, does it repro in 4X? Hmm, that's a good question. This, You guys suggest that this might be a beta of 2.0? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, Bob is saying the 5705 was the final build. So, wow, I don't know how you remember that, Bob. Um, I could have claimed credit for that and just been, like, super smart. Um, or you could be trolling me and making this all up that actually there never was a 5705 build because I'll be honest, I don't remember. Um, all right. Bob's tossing it for 4.0. Someone can go dig into it. 58.05. He actually took time to go look. We're even a little later. Uh, props to Bob for awesome memory on that front. Uh, we'll toss it 4.0 and see if it still repros. Uh, he seems to suggest it does in 3. So, I don't know. All right. We'll go look at that. Allow more controls on the installation successful page. I think this is solved in 4. So I think we can just say, cool, we can resolve this in four and call it good, right? Because, oh, there's a pull request for it. Mm. I don't think we're going to take this, though, are we? In in three? How is it like, uh, Bob's going to say, like, oh, it's pretty simple and easy and, and just do it. I don't need help. Got it. Let me, yeah, it's new controls. Uh, are we taking things in 3.14 that we're not releasing <laughs> anytime soon? 4.4.0? 4.4.0? I don't know. I guess he's done the work. I mean, what are we dealing with here? Two new things that you can put in the... Oh, just controls that you could put up there. Right. All right. All right. Bob's basically voting for going in and tossing it in because we have a pretty clean and properly formatted pull request. 
I guess. Wow, that's so. Yeah. All right, fine, fine, fine. I'm fine. I'm not just he's fighting things. Uh, yeah, because we're because again, Foro needs to be closer. Um, I'll mention Foro when we get to comments and questions and things like that. Uh, three eleven one. Uh, package not cached after bundle upgrade. This has been going back and forth. I think they've come to realize that their old bundle has to play along um, or that burn doesn't, because I don't think burn creates dependencies when a package is cached. Uh, you could argue that maybe we should create a dependency when it's cached, but cached isn't enough for us to write the registration for something. Yeah. I don't, anyway, so to have this survive being cached to survive an up to stay cached by an upgrade. I don't know. Yeah, see this dependency none. We're not going to register it for a dependency. Um Their BA can do this if they know that the thing is going to be cached to leave it cached. Otherwise, communicating is hard. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, if they explicitly cache it and they want it to survive the caching across the upgrade. So they cached it in 1.0, they cached it in 2.0, and when 1.0 is being upgraded, it's like, oh, time for me to remove my stuff, and it takes the package with it. And because it's a shared MSI, then it gets cleaned out of the cache, and because we don't register, register dependencies on things that are cached, then the old bundle doesn't know to skip it. If we registered the bundle as a dependency, the new one, then the, the old one would say, oh, someone still needs this and would not touch it. Uh, I don't know how much more. Although this says that there was a dependency provider was registered for this one. It's uninstalling true, but it shouldn't have been registered. Well, no, it's executed as none. It's being uninstalled because it's being absent. So the B request is absent. But you have an uncache equals yes, but the dependency, see, the dependency is unregister. That's odd that the dependency is unregistered here when it was never registered before. So that's probably just being overkill. I think that's probably redundant, redundantly unregistering. Unless there's an operation between these two logs that caused it to get registered that they didn't provide the log for. for. But, um, I mean, one solution would be to provide a dependency if the, the package is cached basically say, this bundle depends on this package. I cached it, therefore I have a dependency on it. And it will clean itself up when it removes, presumably. All right, let's put that in four. If someone, if they want to push this through to make that change in four, I'd consider that. I, I, could, I could see someone making the argument that because we cached it, we should have a dependency on it so that someone else doesn't prematurely uninstall it, which is exactly the case that's happening here. That's the scenario. I could see someone making that argument. All right. If they want to make that argument, I, I entertain it. Heat project harvesting fails if using an unusual system region. Hmm, I guess that doesn't completely surprise me. So if someone wants to go dig into that in heat, they can certainly do that. Um, toss that 4X. Documentation of all uh, advises wrong calling convention. This is not correct anymore. This title needs to be fixed because Bob pointed out that, yes, it is the correct calling convention. 
and pointed out that we should maybe explicitly call out that they need to be um, exported without their whatever the decoration is on the end. Yeah, okay. And toss it in four and someone that wants to write documentation. That makes sense to me. Custom action DLL is not in valid format. This one is surprising. I haven't tried to reproduce this issue. Um, I wonder if the assembly's already signed. Like Wix, it was signed as part of our builds, and now re-signing it is confusing it. There's something about re-signing something not working, I thought. <laughs> and this is with Wix 3.11.2. So signing a custom action, a managed custom action project is not working here. Downgrading the 3.11.1 solves the issue. 3.11.2 didn't change anything of this. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. <coughs> um, yeah, someone's going to have to go dig into that one. <laughs> I don't really have the time, desire to go dig into this one deeply myself right now. So, but yeah. That's odd that it worked in 3.11.1 and not in 3.11.2. So, uh, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know where to put it. Someone probably can look at it. Try to reproduce it, figure out why it's doing that. But I don't really want to deal with it right now myself. I have too many other things going on. Where do we put that? DTF and yeah, someone should look at it. Yep, I mean yeah, that's yep. Just get fit. Uh, yeah, I guess so. For three fourteen, probably. Yep. As of three fourteen is in progress. There's no status. Yes, correct. There's no progress action displayed during these things. So this is a feature request. I don't like it when people delete our stuff. It doesn't help, but. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a feature request. Toss it to four, and somebody wants to do the work to implement it and provide the Wixel and do all that good stuff. Totally could do that. But yeah, that makes sense to me that that they would want to have action or yeah action text for all of the custom actions. And that probably goes across the board for all of the custom actions. Actually, it's been on my my deep list of, it'd be nice if the custom action element was allowed you to specify the action text on the custom action element or near it um, to just handle that for you. I think that's probably what it should do. It's basically the custom action element um, is too complicated and I think we should do a little bit of work, kind of like with the major upgrade element, we should do the same thing for the custom action element um, since they don't seem to be going away. Um, but anyway, Cool. Actually, that went better than I thought it would. I had Bob chirping a couple times, and Sean was quiet as all, as usual. But I think that's mostly triage. So we'll go back to seeing if there are things people want to talk about. Um, what I could talk about is that I had a little bit of time, finally, forced a spot on my schedule, and I plowed through um, the bulk of the um, bundle binder. Uh, so the code, I think, is in place and working. The unit test works. Now, it is not in a shape that you can actually build because I have to get the, the real burn um, burn v4 stub in the correct place when you get Wix.exe. So I'm not done with the whole end-to-end -end scenario. But the fact that I can build bundles again and it seems to be working is a massive step because when I was going through the large uh, um, boulders, as I was calling them, 
to uh, things that need to be done for v4. Uh, bundles were one of the things. Uh, merge modules are another. And patching is the last one of the big things. There's plenty of next level problems to solve. Never mind the amount of bugs that are left that we just have to go through and um, hunt and destroy. But uh, I did make some, but it is just, it feels really good to kind of have the bundle stuff under control. Um, and it really cleaned up the code a lot. We had a lot of uh, strange, not strange, we had a lot of data structures in the way when bundle was being built that did a lot of stuff in memory. And the problem was that they wouldn't always get persisted to the PDB. So if you ever wanted to go back and look at where all the data that went into the bundle came from, that's what the PDB is for, it would be missing things or they wouldn't be quite right. And we rectified a number of them uh, by creating these bundle only rows, uh, which aren't real rows, but they you know, were generated during the build process, uh, during the binding process. And that was okay, but it did really strange things to the code. So the code is a lot better now, and we don't have a lot of goofy rows and things like that. Now we just have the tuples and things like that. So there is more to do in that cleanup, but it did help straighten and fix uh, a number of things. Uh, I expect merge modules, um, merge modules will do similar to the MSI process of, well, it's not going to clean it up. I have to go rejigger the MSI process because the way that merge modules work is complicated, given the fact that they can only merge into an MSI, and we try to create the MSI as late as possible, but then we have to turn around and go back and fix up the MSI afterwards. Uh, but anyway, so getting merge modules is going to be another big thing to uh, have checked off. Um, that one's not too bad, just need another two, three days of work to do that. Uh, the big, 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 big one is going to be patching. But I'm inclined to... Uh, get merge modules done-ish or something like that, and then try to get a not even alpha build of the Wix 4 out so that people can start trying to use it without patching, and they can just start trying to you know bump into a significant number of bugs. There are a lot of things that, given the, uh, the bulk of the changes, it can be everything from, oh, a column that was null is now being filled in with a zero, and you can imagine how in the code where something that was null now is being defaulted to uh, zero and bad things are happening. So uh, that's a thing to uh, solve as well. Um, so, but I think it would be good to start getting people kind of uh, friends, people that can write good bug reports, not general masses, trying to kick the tires on Wix 4 and generally seeing how it works out and more importantly using it in the new way that you can use it, which is through the .NET tool, um, and then as the MS Build SDK project. So getting all that put together, because it's very close. Anyway, so that was one of the big things that I've gotten done. That's all pushed up and out, and all the tests are passing, um, things like that. So that's my big thing. I don't know, Jacob, do you have anything, or Bob, Sean, you want to put in the comments? Um, I know Sean and Bob are working through a bunch of bugs and things that I have created in Wix 4 um, and generally making them go away. And we'll see more of that going forward. Um, but I, that's about all I have. Quiet. I'm trying to fill time to make sure you guys get your questions in if you have them. <laughs> and Jacob actually comes up and says, nope, I'm good. So, all right. I think on that note, we're going to call it a day. Um... I will try to find some time to um, work with uh, Sean and or Bob and try to get this Skype um, filtering of their call audio into the stream worked out so that that is ready and working next time. And uh, we will uh, go from there. So two weeks, we'll be back, I think. Two weeks sounds right, right? 24th, not not Halloween night, so that should work out just fine if anybody's going out chasing kids around. Uh, so we'll be back in two weeks, the week before Halloween, and we'll do it all over again. So till uh, two weeks from now, we'll see you guys later. Bye. For the record, I did leave it long enough for Sean and Bob to say bye, even if you can't hear them. So anyway, two weeks from now, later. <laughs>